mine is on Jonathan Jiwon Chang. I've known him since we were eight years old, so that's like 10 years now of us knowing each other. Um, I remember the first time I met him, uh, it was at a family friend's house, and his sister was friends with my sister, and I thought he was a lot younger than me. I thought he was like a little baby, but then I found out that we were the same age. <laughs> I always felt like a giant compared to him because I had my growth spurt very young, and I didn't grow since then, <laughs> and now he's much taller than me. So something to know about Jonathan, and fun fact, is that he's full Korean. I think I've asked him over 50 times, how does it feel to be full Korean? Because that's kind of mind-boggling to me that you could be like a full race, like not even a little bit of something else. But no, he's full. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I feel like Jonathan's like my little brother since I've known him for so long, even though he's just not so little. He's taller than me, but he's still like a month younger than me. So he's still like my little brother. And uh, he's kind of a part of my family, and I'm glad that we've got two classes together because we didn't get go to the same high school or anything, so I got to see what it was like to experience a day in class with him, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so he's given me two gifts in my life, which I thought was pretty cool, is these pair of gummy bear socks, and they are pretty tight because I love socks, and <laughs> socks are like my thing. But I didn't know if he knew that or if he just thought that they were pretty cool and that he wanted to give them to me. So I liked it. And he got me a blue scarf, which I wear scarves a lot. And so I thought that was pretty nice of him. So, Jonathan, you're like my brother and my best friend. I don't know what I would do without you because you're funny and you kind of just make my life difficult, which is what a brother is supposed to do. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. I, I hope everyone else enjoys him. All right, so my tribute is for Cheyenne Boshi. Um, I think we can all agree from just seeing her in class that she has a very high level of energy and a really likable personality. I've known her, like she said, since I was eight. It's about ten years now. Um, and she is like a sister to me as well. So I've seen a lot of crazy things that have happened between us in the last 10 years. Um, one example is I'm pretty good friends with their brothers. Jake and Josh, I've known them just as long as I've known her. Um, one time I was over spending the night and I'm not sure what I did to instigate anything, but she started beating me with a teddy bear. <laughs> and it, was, it, it would have been fine if it was like with the people. It had very hard plastic eyes. It didn't, it didn't feel good on my head at all. <laughs> so that was one example. Um, another one, her nickname is Cuckoo Lady Gaga. Don't know why that is, but I think I might have an idea. I heard a story one time that one time she went to Albertsons and walked around with a blonde wig on and told people she was an Asian Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was quite interesting, and so I think that's why that name stuck. Uh, there's many more stories where these come from, and I think all of her friends would agree that she is a bit crazy at times. I'm on a more serious note, um, though, she is a pretty caring person. Um, we do go to the same church. We've been going to it for our whole lives. And every time she goes, all the little kids come just, just they just all just flock to her. And um, she holds one, and whatever one she's holding, I guess, is her baby. I'll like, walk up, she's like, look, it's my baby. <laughs> so whatever one at the time, that's, that's hers. Um, overall, Cheyenne's like a box of chocolates, in the words of Forrest Gump because you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> but if you are around here, you'll probably be prepared for every possible occasion, and she will never let you down.